All right, what is up, guys? Death Audit here, and this has been the third time. I keep fucking up. Anyway, WWE 2K15. Brock Lesnar vs. Randy Orton vs. Dean Ambrose vs. Roman Reigns for the championship. This video I would like to make is about what I would like to see in the new WWE 2K16 game. And with that said, let's talk about WWE 2K15, the pros, the cons, and <laughs> unbelievables? Question mark. Anyway, in WWE 2K15, the graphics are good, the gameplay is awesome. I should say fun, not awesome, because there's still some things they could tweak in that aspect. Universe mode fucking let me down yet again for another year, as it's something I play all year. And uh, anyway, we're gonna get into all that. Characters were fun. Sting being in the game for the first time was awesome. It was an awesome experience. The stamina system, the grappling. Uh, the grappling locks you do in the beginning of the game, the chain grapples, that was pretty good. Got pretty boring after like the first 10 times doing it, but it's pretty fun still. So sometimes I take it off, I put it back on. Um, career mode. I think career mode was a really big step in terms of what people wanted. And uh, the fact that you could start on NXT and move up to SmackDown, Raw, and defend your titles. The only thing is... You're doing the same shit over and over again, and those cutscenes, yeah, you see them, but half the time you're not doing shit, you're fighting fucking random people that freaking Guerrero decides that, okay, I ain't got nothing for you to do today, so I guess they're gonna fight this guy. I mean, come on, man. I understand it's the first game, and they're probably just implemented it as a beta, but they won't say that, which is fine, but come on. The new game I would like to see in 2K16, the development of career mode. Embody the career mode. Live the career mode. That should be the theme. You know they got Attitude Era theme. And that should be the fucking theme. The career of the guy that you made. Which the character system, the creation is pretty stupid. It's okay. But it's very limited in terms of what you can do in hairs and facial features and all that crap. It is very limited. Matches are limited in the game. This is the first build of the game, which is understandable, but still, for $60, man, you gotta pump out some really good stuff. Really pump it out, because we're paying our money, man. But it was a fun game, man. No get me wrong. Look at this graphic. The graphics are awesome. The character models are awesome. The way they move in the ring are awesome. The way when you, uh, you go down to the floor after stamina has depleted and you gotta crawl to pin the guy. It's, it's amazing, especially in in uh, three-way matches makes it really 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 nail-biting however in 2k16 I would like to see ambulance matches backstage matches come on, where is that why can't I have transitional backstage uh, moments in the game like in uh, Smackdown here comes the pain and Randy Orton just won <laughs> in the midst of this why can't I have backstage matches like in Here Comes the Pain. Come on, man. People have been asking for this over and over and over again. I don't know if, if it's because WWE doesn't want it. I don't know how it works. I'm not a developer, but come on. I hope in 2K16 they add some sort of transition either into the crowd or maybe into the back. You don't have to put it in an entire fucking parking lot and a fucking street stage, but you have to put the back stage one backstage move. make it so so that way extreme rules matches are not fucking limited to the ring and false counts anywhere man like you have false counts anywhere but really <laughs> I'm either gonna pin the guy in the ring on the outside or on the fucking ramp really man the other thing I would want to see which I feel the other grab I had with this game Coffin, the casket match, or was it the Buried Alive one? There was a casket, it was in the game, but they did not put it as a game mode, which I don't know why, they took out a lot of game modes and matches, which is pretty, um, pretty sketchy to me, I mean, come on, man. You're developing for the new system, we could have probably handled this, unless the graphical engine took up a lot of stuff. Again, I don't know how it works, so, 
you guys could probably leave a comment and describe it at the bottom for you uh technical guys. So that's that's one of it. Let's get to the universe mode, the meat of what I want to talk about. Now universe mode, a lot of people some people I should say don't like the universe mode. Me? I fucking love it. I play this shit all year until the other game come out for the new one. And that's what I do. It's fun. The only thing is I'm sick of seeing a guy running with a chair. Go outside, get a chair, beat the guy, get a pipe, hit him in the head, come out to the ring, Jerry the King Lawler, sit down, sit down, have a seat, blah blah blah. I'm sick of that bullshit. Either take it out on the new game and work on it and add it into the next game, which is 2K17, or you start adding in bits and pieces of it with every iteration because it's the same fucking thing over and over again. Come on. Get creative. As I mentioned, Jerry Lawler, the fucking commentary. They, now, they said before releasing 2K15 that the commentary was brand new. They recorded together in a stained studio and all that crap. It still sounds the same. Is it just me? Am I crazy? I mean, I am, but come on. Man. Now, there was a rumor. Not a rumor. It was, it was said by JR that he is working with a... Uh, 2k for the new game now I don't know if he's actually going to be the comment a lot of people say oh he's going to be the commentary I doubt that very much they're probably working on a mode just like 2k showcase where they bring back a lot of old-school matches and JR has put his commentary to it and only that which would suck because it would be pretty awesome to have him in the entire game or have an option you know you go with options and you pick who you want gameplay and you pick like instead of Michael Cole you put JR and his voice but they really need to step their game up in terms of commentary I don't know how they're going to do it and implement it into the game but they really need to do something because it's just ridiculous the commentary the same thing oh he's putting it into it on blah oh yes he is putting them into it on blah okay we get it dude right they're pretty fucking stupid. I started over my career mode with this guy, the clown. Jay the metal clown. But anyway, the career mode, as I said before, is pretty awesome. 2K16, I'm looking forward to it. I hope they keep the stamina system. I hope they keep the graphics, improve on it, obviously. I hope they add in backstage. I hope they add in matches like ambulance matches, bird alive matches. And by the way, they had, if you guys have not played any older games, they had bird alive matches before gasket matches and all of that crap so instead of going into this right they took out an abundance of game modes like really like one on one okay no holes barred fall count anyway in extreme rules matches really you gotta put all this in one game mode and just give us the option like in games like Doug, um, WrestleMania 2000 and stuff to change whether we want okay we want to pin outside don't want to pin outside that way you can put more matches in the damn game come on like I don't know if it would work but to me it would work you know so universe mode please add more cutscenes in 2k16 right now I'm rambling on now other than that, 2K15 was awesome. I would definitely pick up WWE 2K16. They later, well, through DLC, later on in this game life cycle, they added in a lot of um, superstars for download. You know, look at all this. I don't know why the fucking girl hit back, but Adam Rose. This is another thing. NXT. Oh my God. The fact that they put in Sam Zayn and. Adrian Neville, it's amazing. The other game I really would like to see, maybe name it on um, WWE Raw versus NXT. You know, Raw or WWE, yeah, something like that, man. It, it would be awesome. You have all the uh, NXT guys, and then you have all the Raw guys and SmackDown guys, and it's new versus old, something like that. New gen versus old gen. You know. Like passing the torch sort of thing. 
and you could maybe create a career mode with that. You know, like you create your own guy, you join the NXT again, blah, blah, blah. But this time, it's in depth. You know, you join guys like Neville, you team up with guys like that against the old guys. You got the old guys kicking on you. You got, you know what I mean? Maybe give us the option when you're going into the uh, career mode, you get to pick a partner too. So you guys can start off competing as tag team. Maybe the first leg of the uh, cutscenes would be like you start off as a tag team, you win it, then you separate. He's going to be like your first big rival, and then you move up like that. And then sooner or later in the career mode, you could probably be feuding at WrestleMania with Brock Lesnar, Undertaker, or whoever it is. So, I mean, there's a lot you can do with career mode. Every single iteration of the game, you can do something different. But anyway, that's all for me right now. By the way, I'm going to start doing WWE Universe mode. I just got to make it tonight and then start that shit tomorrow. So thank you once again for watching the video. Leave your comments below and let me know what you think. Once again, peace.